Welcome back everyone. A few videos ago, we learned how to fetch data from an API endpoint. We created a method called getPosts and within the method used Axios to fetch the data. The fetched data, which is a list of posts, is assigned to a data property and the same is rendered in the template using the v4 directive. However, we were calling this method on click of a button. So if I go back to the browser, click on the button, the list of 100 posts are fetched and displayed in the browser. In this video, what we want to do is fetch this list on page load and not on a button click. Now to achieve that, we are going to use a lifecycle method we learned in the previous video. So back in VS Code, in the post list component, we're going to hook into the create lifecycle method. So after specifying the component name, add the created method. Within the method, we have access to all the data properties and methods of this component. We have to call the getPosts method. So within the created body, call this dot get posts. It's very important that we use a traditional function for the created method and not an arrow function as the arrow function does not provide this keyword binding and our component would throw an error. In the template, let's also comment out the button. If we now save the file and head back to the browser, refresh, and you can see that the list of posts are fetched and displayed as soon as the page is loaded in the browser. All we did is move the execution of the getPosts method into this created lifecycle method. Loading data on page load is a very common scenario in web applications. So I wanted to ensure you understand how to do that. All right then. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.